Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry Lab videos. Today's video I have made on special demand from postgraduate and graduate students of basic sciences. In this video, I will be describing a method for determination of nicotine in tobacco leaves using non aqueous titration technique. But before I start my video, I would like you to watch this video till the end and also to subscribe my channel and to like and share my videos among your friends. So now that we are going to start this video, let us first divide this video into three parts. First, we will talk about nicotine. Then we will talk about the non-aqueous titration technique and then Third part will be the determination procedure. So what is nicotine? Nicotine is an alkaloid or more precisely a nitrogenous alkaloid or pyridine alkaloid which is extracted from the leaves of the tobacco plant. Tobacco plant is also called as nicotiana tobacco. That is its botanical name and it belongs to family Solanaceae. So nicotine is extracted from the leaves of the tobacco plant in organic solvents such as toluene, diethyl ether. When it is extracted it is colorless to pale yellow in color but when it is exposed to air and light it turns to deep brown color. It is highly pungent in odor and nicotine is very very hazardous for health. It stimulates the parasympathetic nerves and it is carcinogenic in nature. People use nicotine in the form of cigarettes, BD, chewing tobacco and this is the reason determination of nicotine is extremely important. One among five people died due to tobacco consumption either in the form of cigarettes or BDs or chewing tobacco. Nicotine is a very very dilute base. Now why I have told this because we are now going to talk about the non aqueous technique of titration. So we employ the non aqueous titration technique for the acid based titration of very 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 mild acids or bases. Now nicotine is a very weak base and if water is there in it then the water being a stronger base than the nicotine will interfere with the end point and it will not be able to determine the sharp end point because it will Accept the proton. Similarly, if water is present in a very, very weak acid, then also it will affect the endpoint because it will donate the proton prior to the weak acid which we want to determine. So, in such cases where very weak acids or bases are going to be titrated using acid base titration, the water should be avoided. And this is the reason we go for non aqueous titration techniques. So, coming to the third step that is the determination step, determination of nicotine in the tobacco leaves. 
it's an acid based titration but because nicotine is a very very weak base we will go for non aqueous acid based titration technique using perchloric acid and crystal violet dye as the indicator so to perform this experiment the reagents which are required are please note down anhydrous glacial acetic acid acetic anhydride perchloric acid 70% weight by volume potassium hydrogen thalate crystal violet indicator toluene methanol and tobacco leaves so these are the reagents now we have to prepare the solutions so first is preparation of 0.1 molar perchloric acid solution to prepare this solution we will take 8.5 ml perchloric acid in a 1 liter volumetric flask to which 500 ml anhydrous glacial acetic acid will be added followed by the addition of 25 ml acetic anhydride and then it will be allowed to cool and then it will be diluted to 1 liter in the volumetric flask using anhydrous glacial acetic acid and then it will be left for a day next day this perchloric acid will be standardized with potassium hydrogen thalate solution using crystal violet as the indicator to prepare the solution of potassium hydrogen thalate 0.35 g of the dried potassium hydrogen thalate powder is taken and it is dissolved in anhydrous glacial acetic acid and using the crystal violet indicator the perchloric acid is standardized using the potassium hydrogen thalate solution at the end point the color changes from violet to emerald green which is also called greenish yellow color now coming to the preparation of indicator solution to prepare a solution of crystal violet indicator take a small quantity of the dye and dissolve it in methanol now coming to the preparation of extract that is extraction of nicotine from the tobacco leaves to do this 6 grams of tobacco leaves are taken in a clean and dry earlen mere flask to this 50 ml saturated solution of barium hydroxide is added along with the addition of 2 grams of granular barium hydroxide then 100 ml toluene is added to it and it is ensured that the leaves are completely wetted in the solution then a small stirring rod is introduced into the flask a stopper is placed and the flask is then kept on the magnetic stirrer for stirring the solution for about 20 minutes after 20 minutes are over the flask is removed from the magnetic stirrer and the organic liquid is taken out cautiously using watman filter paper into another clean and dry earlen mere flask here we should be extremely cautious that only the organic layer is transferred and no aqueous solution is coming along with the organic layer from this organic layer 20 ml of the solution is taken 4 to 5 drops of crystal violet 
indicator solution is added to it and it is titrated against standard perchloric acid solution till we get the end point as change of color from violet to emerald green. The observation is recorded and it is repeated to get a concordant value. The nicotine which is determined is expressed in the terms of percentage. So this is how we can determine the nicotine in the tobacco leaves using non-aqueous titration procedure. This titration procedure is very similar to the classical acid-based titration method except that here we are avoiding the moisture and carbon dioxide. The apparatus required is also very simple and same as the classical titration procedure. The results which are obtained by this method are very accurate and can be compared with highly sophisticated techniques such as GC and HPLC which are not only sophisticated but are very expensive and requires many steps. So if we compare this technique of titration with those techniques which are highly sophisticated and expensive, we find it equally good. It is rapid, simple, cost effective with high precision and accuracy. This is the reason if we want to cut down the prices for the determination of nicotine, we can go for non-aqueous titration technique for the determination of nicotine in the leaves of tobacco. Hope you have understood this well. If you have any queries, any questions, please leave them in the comment box. Keep watching my upcoming videos and subscribe my channel to remain updated. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.